Director Free and I have just spoken with the President, and I am pleased to announce that one of the individuals believed to be responsible for Wednesday's terrible attack on the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City has been arrested. Timothy McVeigh, age 27, who we previously called John Doe No. 1, the man with the light brown crew cut, was arrested by local authorities on a traffic violation about 60 miles from Oklahoma City on Wednesday morning, about an hour and a half after the explosion occurred. At the time of his arrest, he was in the possession of a firearm. He has been in the local jail since the arrest. He will be taken into custody by the FBI. Searches are being planned and executed at several locations around the country this afternoon. I remind everyone that John Doe No. 2 remains at large. He should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. There is a strong likelihood that other persons are involved in this tragedy as well. People should not attempt to take any action against John Doe No. 2 or anyone else involved in this matter. But we continue to urge anyone with information to call 1-800 905-1514. I have been in constant communication over these last days with the FBI Director Louis Free. The FBI has been leading this investigation through the command center at FBI headquarters in close consultation with the Department of Justice's attorneys here and in U.S. attorneys' offices across the country. The FBI has also established command centers in Oklahoma and other locations around the country. This investigation has truly been a model of law enforcement cooperation. I commend the Treasury Department and its law enforcement agencies, the ATF, Secret Service. I would also like to commend the Department of Defense, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and the Immigration and Naturalization Service for their outstanding efforts. Your work has just been magnificent in this effort. Likewise, the outpouring of support and assistance from state and local authorities has just been tremendous. And we would especially like to thank the local authorities, the state authorities who've worked around the clock on this effort. Foreign authorities.